Sandy recovery up front in the title is because billions of dollars are being made available in the state of New Jersey as a consequence of the devastation from the Sandy uh, storm, Super Sandy storm. The state of New Jersey um, has been administering. Let me get ready to do that real quick. Um, has been uh, responsible. Department of Community Affairs is responsible for administering um, contracts, uh, emergency assistance early, and since then, residential assistance, commercial, multifamily. Um, and um, from all the assessments that we, we get, uh, there was under uh, a lack of participation on the part of communities of color in the emergency work. Um, and the information that we're getting uh, about the participation of our community as vendors, as well as individuals who uh, can take advantage of the services, the grants and the loans and the, and the like, um, is not what it should be. Not only that, um, thousands of people were hired uh, to do outreach work, uh, intake work, uh, and the like, and we're not, again, as part of the Black Issues Convention, uh, clear that we knew about those jobs, got connected to those jobs, uh, and the like. So the whole question of what does, when there are substantial numbers of dollars available to do recovery work, does that really mean redevelopment and rebuilding in our community? Uh, so that's the context for the conversation. Uh, last year, um, we advocated the passage of the higher education bond issue. Um, and that conversation and that advocacy was premised on the point that there would be economic impact and benefit. Uh, and Senator Cunningham is the chair of the uh, Higher Education, Senate Higher Education Committee, and Senator Rice, who had, had been doing extensive work in trying to figure out how we make that happen. But like we know about public policy, um, you have to stay in the game and continue to work. Um, there has to be a constituency external constituency there to support the work of the legislature and the mayors. Uh, and there has to be pressure uh, on uh, organizations like PSE&G, places on organizations like PSE&G. Rick Thigpen uh, <laughs> uh, uh, is uh, a vice president for governmental affairs at PSE&G uh, and a good friend Man, of the family. Right? But uh, they, want rate right? they want rate increases. Right? They want rate increases. And that's a, there's a public process associated with that. And no, we don't want rate increases. You need a rate increase, all right? Or you think you need a rate increase. And there's reciprocity associated with that. So I mean, this conversation really is about how do we participate to make certain that there's development and redevelopment in our community whenever our dollars are being invested. Uh, our panel uh, includes Myra Campbell, the mayor of Asbury Park. American mayor uh, in the state of New Jersey, I believe that's the case. Right? All right. Uh, Senator, newest, right? Newest. Right. <laughs> Senator Sandra Count Cunningham, who from, represents uh, Jersey City, uh, a longtime friend of, of New Jersey Bit, Rick Thigpen uh, from PSENG, <laughs> and uh, Peter Montag uh, from of the Environmental Research Foundation. He's, repl he's replacing uh, Dr. Nikki Sheets from Thomas Edison College. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Nikki has some health uh, difficulties and we need to keep him in prayer.